I had a press conference this week in which I reiterated I am prepared, eager, and anxious to do a big deal, a big package that ends this governance by crisis where every two weeks or every two months or every six months uh, we are threatening this hard-won recovery where finally housing starting to pick up and commercial real estate starting to do better and the unemployment numbers are still too high but we're seeing some job growth and businesses are investing and manufacturing is doing well and we continue to have these self-inflicted uh, self crises here in Washington that suddenly leads everybody to tap the brakes. And so what I said this week was, I want to do something big to provide certainty and steadiness for the economy and for American families. And that means a balanced package that will reduce our long-term deficit and debt, but that still allows us to invest in those things that we need to grow right now, because that's also a deficit reduction agenda is growing faster. And in order to have a balanced package, that means that we've already done a lot of cuts. We've done some revenue now. And so the rest of the way moving forward, we can do some additional reforms and make our health care programs work better and make them more efficient. And we can cut out programs that we don't need. But it also means that we've got to be able to close some tax loopholes and deductions that the average American cannot take advantage of to raise the revenue to actually do the job in a way that allows us to continue to grow.